Hi everyone, it's Nikki. Welcome to Mystical Enlightenment. Welcome back if you've been here before, and welcome if you're new here. I'm so excited to see everyone. It's Wednesday, which means it's time for another episode of Witchy Wisdoms Wednesdays. So, if you've been here before, you know what that means, and if you're new, let me explain that to you. Witchy Wisdoms Wednesdays is a collaboration between witchy pagan YouTubers. There are five of us, and each week we pick a pagan witch or witchy topic to discuss. So what we do is we will pick a topic, and we will each discuss our viewpoints on that topic on our own YouTube channels, and then we will create a playlist and link each other's channels in the description of our own videos. So we highly encourage you to visit all of the ladies in the collaboration by clicking on their links in each of our videos so that you can see their viewpoints on these topics. So I'm going to play my intro now so that I can introduce you to all of the witch witches and pagans in the collaboration right now. These witches and pagans will tend to switch and change from time to time as people grow and decide to change the direction of their YouTube channels and as the Witchy Wisdom Wednesdays project expands and grows within itself. So let's see who the ladies are now. here with my fairy lights. It is just about to be the new moon. So I got my fairy lights. I'm out in my yard. You can see there is nothing in the sky. It's pitch black. So I'm going to sit out here for a few minutes, meditate on what I would like to manifest. That's just the pool. What I would like to manifest this upcoming month then i am going to jot down about five things with clear intention that i would like to manifest keeping in mind that i want them to be simple achievable things not things that would be hard to manifest so i'm not going to write down that i would like to manifest a million dollars because that i don't think is achievable and if it's not something I believe is achievable then it's not likely to come true because it has to be believable to me in order for me to be able to manifest it. So after I spend a little bit of time meditating on what I would like I'm going to write it down and then I will take my note and I will put it in the back of my drawer put it away until probably the full moon where I will review it and I will light a candle, a white candle, and I will let the candle burn down and then when I'm done letting the white candle burn down that will be the end of my new moon ritual for tonight. So stay tuned for my moon video which I will shoot tomorrow and I hope you enjoyed hearing this little bit of my my um, new moon ritual. I will talk to you guys soon. Blessed be. So I finished writing my intentions down and I'm back in the house and I am burning my candle with my selenite tower because selenite reminds me of the moon and I will just let this candle burn all the way down before I go to bed and make sure it's out before I go to bed tonight. Welcome back guys. As you can tell probably from the clip you just saw of my new moon ritual, this week we will be speaking about lunar magic. So what I would like to do 
is go through the phases of the moon and discuss what kind of magic is best to perform during these phases. So the first phase is the new moon. When the new moon is out, it is best during this time to work with spells that are directed towards manifestation. This is, I'm sorry if you hear noise and jingles in the background, my cat is just decided that it's time to play. So I apologize. Let's go back. So new moon is when we should be working on manifestation spells. It's a time to plant seeds. It's a time to call into play what we desire and what we would like to bring about in our lives. This is a great time to reflect on what that is. The most important thing that I find with the new moon is to make sure, and with manifestation in general, is to make sure that we are manifesting something that is believable. Because it is so easy to do a manifestation spell and say that we want to manifest <coughs> $10 million. Okay, great. You want to manifest $10 million, but how is that going to happen and is that truly believable to you because if you don't believe what you're trying to manifest it's not going to come true so what i try and do every month or whenever i'm working with a manifestation spell is to really zero in and focus on something that i can visualize myself receiving that i can believe and work with that so it's small steps so after the new moon, we have the waxing moon, which the new moon is when it's dark and we can't see the moon, right? So then we have the waxing moon where the moon starts to grow again. This is a powerful time to strengthen spells. You wanna put extra work and extra um, magic into those spells that you really want to strengthen what's already there. This is a good time to do prosperity spells, to do job spells, to work on existing abilities. So this is where you really want to work on, on things that are already here. You want to work on enhancing them. After the waxing moon, we have the full moon. So you have the dark, the no moon, which is the new moon, where we can't see it. Then it starts to grow through the waxing moon. Then we come to the full moon. When we get to the full moon, this is a time where we want to focus on what we want to release or get rid of. Okay? <clears throat> this is the perfect time to get rid of all that crap that we don't want in our lives anymore. Um, do releasing spells. Do... Um, it's also a good time for um, group work. Like if you're working um, with other witches, it's a perfect time to get together and do that. It is a great time to charge your crystals under the full moon. Charge your jewelry. Cleanse your jewelry under the full moon. Make full moon water. If you have not heard of full moon water, Google it. It's great. I did a video earlier on full moon water. Um... Full moon water can be used in spells. It can be used for um, cleaning the house. It can be used in teas. As long as you know that the water that you used is clean, you can use it. You can drink it. Um, it's a powerful charged water that is charged by the moon and is magical and can enhance all of your spell works, your abilities, your, everything that you do. You can bless and charge your objects, your wands, your any of your spell and altar objects, you can charge by the full moon. <laughs> After the full moon, we have the waning moon. During this time, it is a good time to really focus on banishing because now we're, we're um, we started letting go of things during the full moon. Now we're going to continue that pattern all the way through until we come to the new moon of letting go of what's no longer serving us. So that period between the full moon and the new moon, we're going to be working on banishing spells. Now, I know this was a really brief 
intro to how to do magic with lunar magic the reason for that was there is so much to lunar magic and I could not honestly pick <coughs> uh, something to really go deep dive into so I am going to be doing a lunar magic series on the channel. I've been planning it for a while and I just have not gotten there yet, but I'm going to be doing a deeper dive into lunar magic. In the meantime, if you would like to um, learn more about lunar magic, do check out the ladies' videos, as I said in the beginning, that are linked below. Also, I'm going to link some reference material. The first one is <coughs> Drawing Down the Moon by Margaret Adler. <coughs> Excuse me. She is um, a um, great author. We have Moonology, which Yasmin Boland, she is amazing. Anything you could possibly want to know about working with the moon. She is the Moonology um, Oracle deck. She has Moonology Diaries, Moonology free worksheets you could download, a blog, anything you could want. Check her website out. I'm going to link it below. <coughs> also, Wicca Moon Magic, a Wiccan's Guide and Grimoire for Working with Magic and Lunar Energies by uh, Lisa Chamberlain. Lisa Chamberlain's books, the Wicca Magic series, amazing books. So check that book out if you're interested. And I believe in the beginning I didn't mention this, but the goddess, the main goddess of... Um, Lunar Magic is Diana, and I'm sure somebody else in one of their videos is going to go more in depth with this. But when you're calling upon the moon, the, when you're working with the moon energy, you can call upon Diana and work with her. What I like to do, even when it's not a full moon or a new moon, I often go out in the backyard or in the front or wherever I am and just stand and stare at the moon and call upon Diana and <clears throat> kind of try and connect with her and connect with the energy of the moon. And you would be amazed at how energized you feel after that. There is absolutely something spectacular about the energy that comes from the moon. If you have not worked with the moon, I highly, highly recommend it. I'm not a night person, but I'm definitely a morning person, but there is definitely something about the moon and I connect so much to it. <coughs> that it actually makes me sad that I'm not a night person because I would love to be a night person and be able to go out at one o'clock in the morning or midnight and just stand under the moon and work with the moon energy but I am so not a night person so for me it's like eight or nine o'clock I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna work with the moon and after that I'm done so I don't know if I gotta work on that or how to work with that but um, so I do the best I can, but I do anytime I get a chance, I'm out there, I'm arms up, I'm calling upon the energy of the moon, feet grounded. I know there is a whole ritual of drawing down the energy of the moon, which I have not gotten to yet. I hope to get to it sometime soon. Um, I hear that's extremely powerful, but I also am very, um, hesitant to do it until I actually know what I'm getting myself into as I think we all should be with anything that we're doing in um, witchcraft so if anybody has done anything has actually done the drawing down the moon ritual and has any experience and would like to share your experience with me you can comment below that would be awesome I am going to wrap it up here, and like I said, I am going to be doing a Lunar Magic series soon, and I will dive deeper into the gods and goddesses of the moon, and into more of the super moons, the blue moons, the eclipses, the working with waning, waxing, full, and new moons, so I'll be diving more into these things soon. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead and like it. If, if you'd like to see when I come on and discuss more topics, go ahead and subscribe. That would be awesome. And once again, please check out the other ladies of Witchy Wisdoms Wednesday. Thanks, guys, for watching. Blessed be. Have a wonderful day.